Yo, how's it going guys? It's me Orange here back with another video for you guys and today we're gonna be doing a scripting tutorial. So you may hear a little background noise because my brother is watching Spongebob but please do ignore that and let's go ahead and get started. First things first, what you want to do is open up your studio and today we're going to learn how to make an ender pearl by the way. So, um, first things first, open up studio. Next, what you want to do is go ahead and make your ender pearl. This is my ender pearl. And if you're wondering how to make this, just go ahead to um, home, go here, press that, go ahead and press sphere, and go ahead, change the color to dark green, change the materi material to glass change the transparency to 0.5 now that you got your pearl go ahead and put it in the replicated storage now what you want to do is go ahead and add a remote event to replicate a storage I already have one but I'll go ahead and add another one and delete one next go ahead and insert a local script and to the server, go ahead and insert a server script. And you guys can name it Ender Pearl if you want. So in the local script, what we're going to do is make um make it run when we press a button. So let's go ahead and get user input service. And if you don't know what user input service is, basically it's um it's what it literally what it sounds like user user input and it'll just help us um, run uh, basically detect user input overall and now we're just gonna give ourselves some settings such as the time uh, debounce um, and key and you can go ahead and uh, start your input again like all other episodes uh, go ahead and add the two variables if game stuff and then return end if if the bounce and input dot key code equals enum dot key code square brackets key then um, go ahead and uh, game get service replicate a storage the remote event fire server and in here what you want to do actually is add this debounce equals false go ahead here and do player get mouse dot mouse hit and then go ahead and wait the time so this is basically the cooldown and go ahead and change the bounce back to true. Now you might you might make like um, some sort of Roblox bed wars or something like that, but this is basically how you make um, a ender pearl. So go ahead to the server and just put in replicated storage and RP .remote event uh the on server event and then, uh this is actually a really simple script so this just detects a signal when we fire so that we fire it to the server sending them a signal to do something and now when it receives the signal it'll tell it'll know who um gave the signal which is the player and then uh the other variable we sent and now uh go ahead and get character and what you want to do is uh, go ahead and do local ender pearl so ep for short um, equals rp dot pearl pearl clone and after that ep dot c frame equals character dot humanoid root part so we want to spawn this in front of the player to start off c frame uh, times c frame dot new um, 0 1 and 3 and if we'll have to change this if it doesn't work 
and now what you want to do is go ahead do ep.parent equals workspace now one more important thing go back to your Perl and you gotta make sure that anchor is false can collide is false all right these two gotta be false or it's gonna stay there and not work all right now go ahead and do ep.velocity and then we can add a little debris thing so local actually no it's fine um ep dot velocity equals mouse hit mouse hit dot look vector vector times about 250 or 200 now what we want to do is ep dot touch connect function and basically we're gonna teleport ourselves and so we're gonna go ahead and do h and if h dot parent dot name is not equal to player dot name then uh, uh, one more thing we've got to add a debounce so local touch debounce if that's true and uh, just add a and touch debounce then you make up false so it doesn't run again and you can set it back to true uh, and basically you just want to teleport the um, character to H's position so um, character dot humanoid humanoid or part dot C frame equals to EP dot C frame and then you just destroy the ender pearl all right so what does this do um what it does is you get teleport you get teleported when it touches something and then it wait uh and then it destroys the pearl so let's go ahead and test this out our key is r it looks like something is wrong mouse hit all right all right uh oopsies i did something wrong uh oops all right so it's supposed to be hit not mouse hit go so go ahead to the local script where the where it says game get service replicated storage remote event fire server what you want to do is go ahead and change it to player get mouse dot hit all right note that you guys can change anything so if you change the remote event to ender pearl event go ahead and change this to ender pearl event go ahead to the server script and also change remote event to ender pearl event really it's just a name changing thing all right so let's go ahead and all right so it looks like it's working and as you can see it has the feature where um it's affected by gravity and it's pretty cool i gotta say it's pretty cool i really like this um it, it's it's really really cool we could add like kind of like a teleporting um like a, um a particle thing but for now we're gonna keep it simple all right um and ooh. all right this is this is really fun this is really fun not gonna lie this is really really fun and I actually made myself a little gravity thing I'll show you all right so basically you press Q and then there's this little cool gravity thing and basically it just uh, throws the player up oh, oops the mr. dummy here is not coming down all right. and basically yeah you just it just throws the um, hit target up and then just um, yeah and if you want to know how to do that, go ahead and comment down below that you want this. Uh, as you can see, as a camera shaking and then a little shockwave. And yeah, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this Ender Pearl tutorial. If you guys have any other tutorials you guys want me to do, go ahead to the comment uh, section below and go ahead and tell me what you guys want. Make sure to join my Discord servers because I am teaching how to script and build and everything literally. We got a bunch of senseis teaching, so go ahead and join those as well. And yeah, so I'll go ahead and let you guys copy this. And then I'll go ahead, so this is the script, and then I'll let you guys copy the local script, which is pretty simple. You guys have been doing this on my channel for a while now. It's fairly simple. It's a keybind thing. 
and um, if you get stuff memorized down you'll be able to do these stuff yourself it's really simple and I think this is really cool alright and take a good look pause the video and yeah so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video because I um, I was trying to think of something for you guys because none of you guys are suggesting anything so that makes me think you guys don't want anything no more but um, yeah so if you guys did enjoy remember to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time you don't own my, my, my.